What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support. On a road to 100K by the end of the year, let's get it. Like the music that you hear, click the links, they are in the description. Also, be on the lookout for the travel channel, Unplugged Traveler, that is in the description and pinned in the comments. Um, I think I got about 480, 480, 470 something subs left before I hit a thousand. So please hurry up, please help me get to a thousand. And I, 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 the goal is to get that before I leave on the 31st. Um, and from there, I'll pretty, I'll probably just go. I'm gonna record also, but I'm gonna be going live on my phone. Um, you know, just to kind of get have have you guys kind of go go through this journey with me, literally. All right, why men are no longer dating in the West. What's this, number 29 now? All right, got about three or four clips that was played for you guys, sent by subscribers. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. And <laughs> It was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. And people still wonder why a lot of men are flocking to red pill type content. This woman thought she was gonna get applauded and everyone cheered. Yeah, you go girl, you get him, you break his heart. Until she slowly realized that the vibe of the room was not with her. This woman is obviously damaged and trying to damage other men in her crusade to cope with the decisions that she has made in life. I hope she watched this video back and realized how morally inept she looked. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE you damn right that is some emotional damage man see and this is actually starting to become more common than men think and you know what it's funny i think one of the reasons why it's starting to become more common is because the sister code is so strong that they know that they're not going to hold each other accountable for this because somewhere in their mind they actually think men men deserve to get this kind of treatment from women but here's the thing the guys that y'all that y'all can finesse those are the guys that are that are actually good for you because those guys are too naive to realize that they're being finessed because they're just trying to be genuinely nice dudes so once again this just goes to show you man i'm like i'm telling you this I'm like the this is how monsters are created. This is how guys like me are created. Cause I've I, I I know what that's like. Only to turn around and when you start understanding female nature and you and you become RP. Now I'm like I'm like the women the women may not like you like that, but that's only because they they know they can't finesse you. But you damn sure are gonna have a respect, and and I'll take that respect over over anything else any day. Let's keep it moving on to the next clip. How much do you spend on a first date? An easy 50. How much do you spend on a first date? I'd say probably like $50 is a good medium. How much should a guy spend on the first date? 500. Bruh. Okay. 2,000. What? How much should a guy spend on the first date? I don't know, but like don't do cheap dates. Like low budget, no. It's over 9,000. Now, based on the location and looking at the background, if I had to guess, I'm thinking Cali. Notice how the guy said both guys said about 50 bucks what is it with girls feeling feeling the need to have hundred dollar or more first dates what is that i don't understand it's like i'm not even trying to spend that kind of money on well i take that back special occasion maybe first date hell nah but this is how but this is how american women are man and I got I come across countless stories of how women overseas are the complete opposite. I've even heard stories of women overseas paying paying for the bill. Wait a minute, what the hell? Well, which is unbelievable to me. Considering these women are supposed to be poor and living in third world countries. I'm like, but I've but I've heard countless stories of men going overseas only to turn around and and the woman is paying. Because 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 she wants she wants to kill she wants to destroy this myth that american women have about them being poor 
y'all y'all think y'all think this is crazy check this out check this next clip out what's the lowest amount of money a guy should spend on a wedding ring for you oh it should be like for sure 30 40k what? yeah we have standards here yeah that's the standard <laughs> would you be would you have been a little upset if it was 10k yeah probably bruh rest in peace kevin samuels bro if average at best was average at best or bro she's average very very average and she's demanding a 30 40 thousand dollar wedding ring uh, standards um you do realize that's most people's yearly salary right to be honest with you, in my personal opinion, I think even 10K is probably a little bit too much. See, I find that really weird that... See, and this goes back to what I was saying in one of my previous videos. Women think about right now, instant gratification. Men tend to think about down the line, long term. See, women are thinking, ooh, I, I, I just want that right now so I can splurge, show off to my friends, tell them how much it costs. Men are thinking, spending all that on a ring i can take that amount of money and invest that in the so and so and so and so and it can make me more money or i can invest that into our first house that's how men think so it just goes to show you when it comes to getting married it seems like the women want the wedding and the men want the marriage and it seems like the women don't really want the marriage and the men don't really care or want the wedding that's why when men make decisions in terms of getting married, it's, more, it's always about the long haul and things down the road. With the women, it's just, it's all about the wedding and it's all about the moment. Like, I'm like, I'm like funny, how that, funny how that all comes together. I literally just thought about that just now. Hmm. Interesting. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. I wanted to bring these clips to y'all attention because it just goes to show you how delusional Western women are and <laughs> it's gonna get worse before it gets better if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm it helps me reach a broader audience also subscribe to the travel vlog channel unplug traveler link is pinned in the description and in the comments until the next video y'all deuces